Welcome back to the Pranay Bhalla Show and the Indian Debating League's collaboration. Today, I am here at the Mumbai Speech and Debate League and we have the first participant of Dramatic Adaptation, which is a wonderful format of debating, ladies and gentlemen. Here I have a very young candidate. Her name is Prisha Rabindra Varma and she has played a historical figure and done a great job at the topic. So, Prisha, firstly, welcome over here. Uh, Could you please tell me a bit about yourself? How did you get into public speaking and how did you get introduced to IDL as a whole? Well, when I was young, my uh, father was, he used to give speeches at my school because he is a very big motivational speaker. So from him, I got inspired. He's a really nice speaker. So you're inspired by your father. That's great. That's absolutely great, Prisha. So could you please tell me a bit about your character? Who is this person? You know, what has he done? And how you embodied this character to play it out? Like, just give me something about that. Um, this character, he is a philosopher, a yogi, a maharishi. And uh, he is a uh, he was um, a newspaper editor also of the Vande Matram. He just, um, as I got this character, and... Arbindo Kosh, he was a nationalist also and he was a yogi so I really like the yogi part because even I have won three awards in gymnastics in my school. That's lovely, so you're a young achiever, is it? That's great, that's great, absolutely great. And how do you like performing today in front of all this big audience in the national finals of the Indian Debating League and how did you write your speech for this event? Uh, my father helped me write the speech and I'm not that scared of a big audience because I have performed many speeches in front of 1,000, 3,000 people before and it's like kind of fun, you know, watching people like, you know, it's like there, somebody has interest in you and like, because as I was young, people were like, I'm a big chattermouth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure big chattermouths make for lo- lovely public speakers, that's for sure. Uh, and what about your costume? You look wonderful right now. How did you come up with this as well? Uh, well, uh, we had uh, actually went to the Raymond store and we found a few things. And this is my uh, father's kurta and the beard. We had uh, shopped it online first. We hadn't got it as expected. It was looking like some old man's cut out beard. So then we had to, you know, color it and paint it and all of that. All right. That's just a master class in how you embody a character, ladies and gentlemen. You know a lot about them. You make sure you embody their physical features. You look like them a bit here and there. And then you add your personal element and perhaps have an inspirational touch just like her from her father. That's how you do that, ladies and gentlemen. With the last question we have, how was your journey with the Indian Debating League and Burlington in English? Do you have a good time over here? What was your experience? Well, well, it was really great and I found the people here very polite, including you. You're also very polite and nice and you have great English vocabulary and grammar and they weren't just like forcing that you've got to win this, you've got to do this and like you've got to be standing properly and all. So it was nice. I liked it. Okay. That's lovely and I love that uh, we've gotten a shout out as well on a personal level so we won this. Let's go. Here we are with the second participant of Dramatic Adaptation and I must say she is looking glorious over here in her outfit. So here we have young Anaisha Sirai and her father Mr. Sirai. I thank him for being here as well. Uh, so to start off, what is your character about and how did you just go about embodying this person? Who is this character? He's basically a French philosopher. He saw intellectual optimism like being shattered during the second half of the 16th century. He is a very physical man. He's very old. I think that's a very important point that he's very old because for somebody that young to embody that wisdom is just perpetually amazing right show off your uh, yes there it is can you see the amount of hard work that goes into this uh, so what do you feel how do you feel about her performing over here how do you feel about the experience itself well i think uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, you know the organizing committee here you know for organizing such an event it gives such an amazing platform you know to our kids and uh, you know the, the the talent that maybe you know we were not aware of before this has come out and you know we we really know that maybe maybe this is something to you know pursue and you know take it forward so i think a big thank to the you know to the school 
you know who gave us the opportunity and then you know of course this uh, IDL and you know the other uh, sponsors and the organizing company it, it's an amazing platform i think this is, this should go a long way yeah thank you so much sir thank you and to conclude all of this what do you think how have this built you and what was your like experience in the past with public speaking and just acting let's say or debating and uh, how has this improved with this experience like what do you think of your journey mainly confidence confidence i've been in a lot of speeches mostly annual days in my school so like that helps me build my confidence lovely one word confidence and isn't that all you need ladies and gentlemen to make gold out of mud ladies and gentlemen we are here with participant 3 but the number 3 does not do this man any justice because in the world of riches and billions he is number 1 that's right we over here have a young participant playing elon musk Could you please tell me your name and who you are just as personally and then we'll go towards your character i'm purvan sharma and i am from jodhpur lucky international school grade 5 Okay. That's a lovely introduction, short and sweet. Uh, tell me a bit about your character, Elon Musk. How did you choose this man, and how did you go about this topic, particularly with this person? Uh, this person is quite funny and uh, rude, so we can just go by the his quotes, and the person also can. We can also find on uh, Google and internet about him. then we we'll get to know and then i came to, to this topic lovely lovely that's absolutely perfect isn't it do your research do your research who is your character what are you going to say that's a very important part of this process and uh, how was your journey with the indian debating league have you had past experiences was this your first experience and how did we help you uh, come on this platform because uh, we see you be so talented you know we don't think you need help and uh, at the same point of time we do want to platform you so how was your experience My experience was amazing, and it's my first experience. So Ogly just helped me to motivate and just uh, taught me the main uh, what we say, the main motos that we have to bring in a speech. Lovely, lovely, isn't it? He's so clear about his understanding of what has taken place today. Uh, with that, I have one last question for you. Are you ready? With this talent of yours of public speaking, acting, and debating, can we see you become the next Elon Musk? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, today on the Pranay Bhalla show, we have an esteemed guest, participant number four, and ladies and gentlemen, this young man, Arav Rahul Modi, has performed a very complex character. So the first question I ask to him is, could you please tell me a bit about yourself? Who are you? Uh, I am Arav Rahul Modi, a studying standard four. I'm in PPS Pawar Public School, Hadapsa in Pune. Lovely, lovely. I'm from Pune as well to start off. <laughs> and uh, could you please tell me a bit about your character and how did you choose this character? You know, what do you think about this person? So actually, I didn't choose the character. The people gave me the character, and he was born in eighteen seventy two, fifteenth August, which is also Independence Day. But that. that time it was not independence british was there but so the best part is he was born in west bengal in kolkata and i was also born in kolkata and in his hospital only which he ran before years and years as you can see he's always had a connect with this character and he's definitely showed this on stage today when he went on it with that uh, this person when you looked at this person and the topic you were given to speak on How did you make them link together, and how did you write your speech? Um, I saw some videos on YouTube and linked it together with the topics, and then I read the speech. And I memorized it and said on the stage. Okay, that's the master class, ladies and gentlemen. That's the master process of somebody this young performing such a complex character. So step number one is seeing how others have performed it and who this character is in the first place. And step number two is preparing your own individual, unique preference as to how this character will be played out for that particular topic. Now, uh, this get-up—it's so unique, it's so brilliant with the beard and the hair and the lovely, lovely attire. How do you come up with that, and how do you get it all together to look so fabulous? 
I saw some photos of Sri Aurobindo and thought that what uh, I can take and then we bought some uh, clothes like this and this and beards and then I dressed up accordingly and I said that. Lovely ladies and gentlemen. Uh, once again, I'm so grateful for you to, ha- to, for you to be here and uh, I just have one last question, is that fine? Okay. Uh, what do you think of what you experienced so far with the Indian Debating League? How was that so far? When they were online, uh, then when there was online qualifier, I was uh, very nervous. But uh, when I uh, think, uh, when I uh, saw my personality and uh, saw the topics, I could uh, just search on Google and I linked it. Then it was a very fast process. So after that, I didn't feel nervous. I felt very excited and I uh, said the speech in the qualifier online and. And uh, I didn't expect that I would be qualified, but I qualified. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the humbleness is absolutely real. And we can see that he has had a smooth experience so far. With that, I thank you so much, young master, for being here. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have participant number five. And usually people say that riches do not come in pairs. But once again, we have the character of Elon Musk with us in the form of Kanupriya Jha. So to start off, I want to ask her, could you please tell me a bit about yourself, Kanupriya? How has your journey been since your childhood uh, to become a public speaker, debater or an actor? So at uh, the age of six or seven, I just joined classes for public speaking. There, firstly, I felt very shy. But uh, after one and two years, it was my habit, and now I started enjoying it. And the, but first, but from my childhood, it's the habit for stage daring. I never get scared or nervous in the stage. Okay, so she started off uh, with a bit of fear in her heart, but as it should be, because the responsibility of speaker is so high to entertain and to educate. And ladies and gentlemen, today she has just done that and conquered her fears. With that, Kanupriya, tell me a bit about your character, Elon Musk. What do you think of him and how did you go about becoming this individual? So, I think Elon Musk is a type of shy person from his childhood only. But, um, like me, he just overrided his fear and now he has done so much things. Uh, he, has ma- he has launched a new car, he has made a new app, PayPal and etc. So she clearly has researched her character and this will come up time and time again. The national finalists of such a prestigious tournament, ladies and gentlemen, have always done their homework because they are great at what they do. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I ask her one more question and that is, how has your journey been so far with the Indian Debating League? Did you have any problems or did you get any enough support? Like, How was your journey with us and uh, uh, how was your journey to the finals itself? The journey in the beginning was nice, but the character, not right now, in the online sessions, it was a bit confusing because it was a very old character of the 15th centuries. So, and now it was really easy to find because it was now, I was really, my parents supported me with my father and uh, it was too easy to learn just in one day, one speech. Okay, so to rephrase what she said, she had a good journey overall, but in the middle, during uh, the qualifying rounds, she was given a very confusing character, a character from a very old, old generation. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, even after that little hiccup, a little hurdle that she couldn't relate to the character initially, she definitely read about it and now she's made it here to the finals. with that, I thank you so much for being here and giving me such a fabulous interview. I must say that you're already great at what you do. And I know this is just the first of many interviews to come in your life. Thank you so much, Kanupriya. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have participant number six. And look at him sitting here tall and proud because he's done a wonderful job on stage right now. And again, uh, he here is a very astound person and I want to ask him, could you please tell me a bit about yourself, you know, what, what are your habits, what, what do you like doing and how did you venture into the field of public speaking, debating and acting? So, like, in, since the beginning, like during school performances, I always used to just speak and it just naturally came to me, like little bit by little bit. 
and then how i learned about the indian debating league was my sister went for a debate in iit madras and then that they sent a message for kanpur and i just started like last year uh, for a public day for in 64 lovely i was judging in the public day for in 64 debate a shout out to myself as well uh, perry do you want to give a shout out to your sister as well what is her name anvika anvika so anvika and perry they've been with us for about 6 7 months now and they are enjoying their time so far with that could you please tell me a bit about your character like who is this individual and how did you embody this person so my character was percy vashi shelly so like he's a old character so there's not like there's a less like some stuff about him but he never spoke on like this topic so you have to like first think about what he would speak like and then speak like him and then like so what would make it like more funny and more like like him was he was also funny when he was like that so like it would be funny if we had like a phone call or something like that or had a jokes in the middle so that and then character himself was a poet and the thing which helped me was he was fearless even though he knew he would like get kicked out of college or something like that and that like made him fearless so like in the beginning i knew that he would be fearless and then after that i just told i could have said yes or no because he never spoke on the topic but i just thought it would be more like relatable to him if i said he was fearless lovely so what i've understood is whenever perry karthik chidambaram speaks it's very simple expect the unexpected ladies and gentlemen and with that i come to the end of this interview but i truly do not want to because i'm sure just like you i can hear him speak for hours and hours at length thank you so much for your time Once again we're back with participant number 7 and who do we have here if it's not the first lady of the USA that's right we have somebody here playing Michelle Obama could you please tell me about yourself what's your name where have you come from and like how did you get into public speaking acting and debating at such a young age I was first of all I was scared that how will I do that and these all things so when I got to know about this competition then I started to research about it uh, and then I told my parents about it that yeah I got this competition I got this opportunity then I I was like uh, I was so excited to get on it so my parents also allowed me as my teachers had teachers also had faith in me that yes you can do it so my parents told me that yes you you can do it you are a very nice student so I I said that okay fine then I started researching about the topics about the competition then I got to know that when I'll be qualified so I'll get an IIT Bombay so first I I have to I saw those uh, Michelle Obama's uh, YouTube videos that how does she speak what is her reactions what is her I uh, means um body language and how does she move hands and those all things so then i i i thought that yes i have to do then i as copied her every day every single time so then i got to know that yes i am good then i slowly slowly copied her this is beautiful ladies and gentlemen and if you know michelle obama like i do you know she has a book called becoming and just like that she has become this character ladies and gentlemen as we can see with the wonderful attire she could be no one but michelle obama and again i ask her how was her journey so far with the indian debating league i mean uh, did you have any hurdles did you have any problems or was it a smooth event you know uh, did you get support when needed like what was the journey exactly with us i didn't get any uh, a uh, problems but yes i did get some difficulty like i i didn't speak this mu- this much uh, accently i spoke english but normal english i didn't speak accently so then i started to speak accent uh, in uh, with my family so then yes i got support with my family they also spoke like that and uh, made me encouraged and motivated me that yes you have to speak english but in this accent not in normal accent this as you can see has pushed her outside her comfort zone ladies and gentlemen and it has made her understand what globalization truly means and uh, with that uh, thank you so much for interviewing with me i'm sure this is the first out of many interviews for you in your life thank you so much welcome back to the pranay bhala show but ladies and gentlemen in moments like these i truly get scared 
because i think my show will have to be renamed after some of these individuals because they have such a great stage presence and such a great camera presence ladies and gentlemen and here we have a very young kind of could you please tell me about yourself you know who are you and how did you get into public speaking acting and debating um i'm radha i'm from gujarat my school uh, focuses very much on uh, people who actually work hard on their skills and uh, I got into public speaking because of our of my communication skills class I figured out I have a talent for uh, English and so I started reading more and my sister who is also an avid reader she introduced me to Harry Potter Agatha Christie many books so my vocabulary also increased and I actually got great English skills Look at that ladies and gentlemen a very well read young individual who looks up to the individuals in her life such as her sister uh, her family and of course she thanks her school for giving her a platform that's just brilliant ladies and gentlemen could you please tell me a bit about your character i mean how did you embody this individual and how did you tie in this person with the topic that you received Michel de Montaigne was a French philosopher from near the 15th century so I didn't I haven't even heard of him ever until I did this event so when we researched my uh, my relatives all are grave people they all helped me make this costume which was very complex we didn't find it anywhere in the whole city uh, and uh, uh michel de montaigne was a philosopher so it was uh, not that hard to get into his ideology and create my speech according lovely as you can see she has given a lot of importance to the costume because she knows first what you wear and what you feel like on the outside always portrays on the inside and i believe that's an absolute masterclass from one of our national finalists welcome back to the pranay bhalla show ladies and gentlemen and right here we have someone everyone knows especially in india she's an icon in the world and that is of course the embodiment the real person priyanka chopra and uh, could you please tell me a bit about yourself you know uh, who are you what's your name where have you come from and just what's your journey with public speaking acting and debating uh my name is ananya mantravadi i come from mumbai bhandup west maharashtra and uh, actually i was encouraged by my parents to go on stage to perform various activities like classical singing be it kathak or bharatnatyam or any bollywood dances and uh, my school who provided me good platforms like um, inter house debate inter inter school elocution competitions as well inter school poetry competitions etc and i used to like uh, i used to like to take part in those things and uh, there my journey started for uh, for the public speaking and uh, on this stage actually i feel very proud and i i came here because i wanted to learn something new from because everyone is here ev- it is a na- it is a national event so i felt very happy because my teachers my school teachers encouraged me to take part and my parents to encourage me to take part in this we already have found one similarity between priyanka chopra and herself and that is that they both are multi talented ladies and gentlemen and with that my second question comes to how did you become priyanka chopra i mean how did you embody such a complex and yet known personality of the internet so as you just now told that we had some uh, qualities alike so i just uh, thought about her and uh me what were the comparisons and then i started learning about her i started learning whatever she wears how how is her style how how does she talk how does she walk and finally i prepared the speech and uh, i was very happy because she is my favorite actress and i got to enact her on this platform lovely absolutely brilliant ladies and gentlemen and as you can see just like priyanka chopra i believe there's another common factor which is going to come in the future right now she's dominating in the national field and just like priyanka chopra soon she'll be dominating in the international field as well i'm pretty sure and for that i tell her all the best uh for the last question how was the journey with the indian debating league you know did we help you were there any hurdles at any point of time just what was your process and what was the journey like with the indian debating league 
so uh, i was happy with indian debating league because they provided such a good platform to learn and uh, i could express all my thoughts and feelings here i could enact all the personalities which i like and uh, one thing which i most like is i got to uh, i got to enact oscar wilde in the qualifiers round and now priyanka chopra who are my most favorites and i i will thank this indian debating league because it is a very big platform and it provides learning to almost all students who participate in the events two different characters and she has dominated both of them oscar wilde at one and then priyanka chopra i believe we have some great young talent inside of her and we're going to see her shine again and again and again not just in this interview but in many more to come with that i thank you so much for being an interview with me thank you welcome back to the pranay bhalla show and here we have a very young talent and of course he looks like adam smith and if you look closely he's embodied this character perfectly so my first question to this individual right here is who are you <laughs> and how have you become this character what's your experience like with public speaking debating and acting um so public speaking came very naturally to me i started public speaking at the age of 3 uh, i started with a poem called ganga ganga ki baat kya karu and i later on i just immersed myself into the world of public speaking and i wrote my first poem at the age of 6 and i had my first ad with hershey's around that age as well and i was the brand ambassador for hershey's until 2022 and i feel like public speaking came very naturally to me because i love talking and i'm a really huge extrovert so it's just a great way to exercise it into a talent and adam smith it was really hard for me because there's no you know there are no videos or no um physical in except of the pictures we barely know anything about him the way he speaks so initially um i read about him and they said he was a scottish person and imitating the scottish accent can be a little intimidating so i started with a scottish accent but then i realized i wouldn't be able to stretch it so i just went with a, with a british accent that would be way easier and for me to stretch it out and yeah the clothes were pretty easy because we just had to look at photos of adam smith and a lot of this is just diy for yeah so as you can see there has a master class in that in itself ladies and gentlemen do it yourself diy the ability to take something which was not what you wanted it to be and then transforming it to suit your purpose i think that's a huge part of public speaking because extempo that's what helps you ladies and gentlemen and then we have the understanding of who adam smith is you know the research is a very important part of it now if i have to ask you how did you relate adam smith with the topic that you received today um okay so adam smith and the topic our topic was role models and adam smith he had a very upside down life his father passed away before he was born he was raised by his mother till the age of 14 and then he went to oxo the university of glaxo where he met his uh, mentor professor professor francis hutchson and then he graduated and he got a scholarship at the university of oxford and so that's how his life went and he, you know he had tons of inspirational people representing him first 14 years he had his mother and having a strong female figure during those times was very important but you don't really seem you don't re- that's not really showcased in his work if you see it's there no role of women in his economic theories which made me think that what if his mom wasn't a good example for him and then his um then came his professor his professor was a uh, philosophy he was a philosophy professor and this guy did moral philosophy he tutored but at the end of the day he went with economics then he met his friend um david burns so he was also a philosopher but he still didn't follow philosophy so it's just shown that he had so many strong figures all around him but he didn't you know follow their footsteps he at the end of the day he went in his own direction he did what he wanted to do so i feel like that really uh, relates to the topic about role models because what he did he took the best out of each of them and he formed his own person and one of his quotes that actually literally went perfect with this is that it's not the benevolence of the baker the butcher or the brewer 
that um, gives you dinner on your table. It is their regard to self-interest. That means that it's not because they want to do good, it's because they want to do well for themselves. So it's at the end of the day, it's selfishness. selfishness. What can I even add to that, ladies and gentlemen? Such an in-depth understanding of such highly high quality uh, philosophical ideologies it's astounding at this young age and i think it's very obvious why he's looked after by so many brands apart from just our own with that i come to the last question of this interview and that is what was the journey like with the indian debating league so far um it was really good it was so good that actually today morning i woke up with a burning fever and yet i wanted to come here because i just really i i couldn't go without coming here meeting everyone listening to other people's ideas giving my own idea and um it was really fun actually i really like the fact that they said that you need to memorize it because that just gives it the feel you know anyone can just read it off but memorizing it and the judges the judges in the online round i saw they were really nice they were really kind and they were very sweet i mean i haven't talked to these judges yet but those ones were really nice and it's very well planned and like the location it's very centralized so it's easy we came from pune so even though it took us 3 hours but we could find many good accommodations around so it wasn't very hard getting to and from the place and i just hope i make it in the finals sometimes you talk about how many embody a character you have to take in all of their qualities but ladies and gentlemen i think we can see that he has left out one important trait for a very good reason the moment he leaves the stage and that is the idea of selfishness because he said when he came here he was looking forward to giving his own ideas to others and i think that's the hallmark of this interview and his personality thank you so much for being with me thank you welcome back to the pranay bhalla show and today we have an esteemed speaker i mean such a brilliant job at embodying such a complex character and that is michelle obama i mean look at the outfit itself there's so much work that has gone into it so i have to ask you who are you nora <laughs> what have you done and what is your like journey what is your past with public speaking debating and acting well as michelle obama she always wants to empower people she wants to help people she fights for the rights of women and she's an activist when i grew up i want to be exactly like her i want to empower women i want to uh, actually help people and i want to be an activist just like her so i want to start here i'm exactly not that i'm a bit new to public speaking but i love speaking I love debating and I've also won a few competitions too and it's been a long journey it's been a fun and thrilling journey where I have first progressed from such a new speaker into something which I can actually help people which where I can help people actually be better in public speaking actually be better in uh, in their rights I can help women and I want to be just like that when I grow up I mean when your purpose to inspire is because you were inspired by somebody else i mean the circular journey is absolutely true and the power in that is endless ladies and gentlemen and as we can see even though she's new to this uh, public speaking or debating spectrum she's already won a few competitions so she is a talent in itself with that i ask a question to one of her, uh, to her mother and uh, i have to ask her what do you think of like this journey that she has had and just the entire process the process has been overwhelming actually absolutely overwhelming as step by step everything's been happening so fast we started at a very school level and here we are at mumbai at such a prestigious competition and it's an honor absolute honor and i can uh, just hope that she grows many folds just like you do you've been a wonderful person i mean i do appreciate the effort you've put in to get into york and uh, i know the kind of effort it takes to get into a university like that so we're all behind you I was just she's ahead of me honestly <laughs> with the way she's speaking because I wouldn't have thought that she's a novice you know I would have thought she's already a professional so that's wonderful tell me a bit about your character Michelle Obama you know uh, how did you embody this person yourself you know how did you find the outfit for it just the entire process of that Yeah so like we got the topic on 27th and we got the personality too and I actually had done a I done research on a project on Michelle Obama so I knew everything about her and 
over there I had to dress up as her I needed to find outfits so we went shopping to like a million places just to find this we went shopping for the wig it took so long and these heels are absolutely so uncomfortable it is so hard to walk in these heels well we basically just wanted to show the empowerment which she does and what we can do too I just wanted to show what she can do I can do too as I wanted to empower people too that's it that's lovely and before we go to the last question i have to say you know michelle obama was the first lady and i think the way she's speaking and the way she has spoken today she might just leave the lady out and keep the first position with herself uh with that after come to the last question how was your journey with the indian debating league so far it has been awesome first i had started with the indian debating league boot camp from there i was with miss afreen khan and it has been an absolute pleasure being in the indian debating league it is an awesome experience it's an awesome ex- journey and it's just a amazing journey and an amazing interviewing experience again just like michelle obama amazing at interviews and i must say i thank both of you for being so hospitable to me even though you've come to my interview so thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you thank you Welcome back to the Pranay Bhalla show and here we have a very young talent in the form of Aditya Joshi and with him we have his mother Mrs Joshi who's helped us over here to give her a few words as well so Aditya tell me a bit about yourself you know what was your journey like as a public speaker debater and an actor uh well hi i'm aditya and i'm from grade 12 studying in choitram school north campus indore and uh, speaking uh, public public speaking actually has attracted my attention from a very long time uh, i am i remember right from grade 4 or 5 i began public speaking and going into the elocutions and debates and uh, you know declamations and it always caught my attention since i like this skill and it's very much needed right now in the present uh, present scenario because people need to be confident enough to you know have a conversation with the people whether you are going for a job interview or applying for any other post uh, speaking skills and communication skills uh, definitely boost your leadership as well so definitely it was a great journey for me here in the msdl uh, and um, i was percy b shelley in the dramatic adaptation and uh, it's a really great experience for me because um to able to know the character in depth you know and act somebody from his point of view gives you a different sort of confidence as uh, um, and it's also important that you get to understand that person's psychology as well you know when we are focusing on preparing from uh, someone's point of view it gives you a different sense of creativity you have to be creative and you have to follow the ethics that the person had followed so it was a challenging situation for me because i wasn't aware about uh, pb shelley's personal life but then eventually when i was told i got into it i dig mm, uh, deeper and um, i definitely f- had a great and wonderful experience you know portraying him and it will be definitely an experience of a lifetime because getting in here and speaking at iit bombay is itself a big opportunity so thank you so much Thank you so much. I believe that was very articulate and very clear in his thoughts and I think we all can see the advantages he has as an orator. Uh and that is in itself his confidence really and his stature and his poise. Now, uh, a question for Mrs. Joshi as well. What do you feel about his stunts today, you know? He's gone on stage and that's such a wonderful performance. What do you have like what do you feel right now? Uh very excited but earlier um just be- before his performance we were very much tensed and worried and since uh, this is the first time in such a big pal- platform he will be speaking that made us all very nervous but thankfully he did well for our point of view at least he did very well Thank you so much ma'am and that's the mother who's nurtured the son over here who's also put together this wonderful outfit for his character so how did you come up with this outfit um well to be very honest uh, this uh, blazer which i am wearing right now was a gift to me for clearing the sem- uh, for the qualifiers of the msdl so uh, and i didn't know back then that i would be portraying such a character so it definitely had an advantage since i love formals so um that's it and um, when i got to know about percy's character so when i dig deeper I got to know how he dresses up and uh, it creates a good impact if you are speaking as a person you know um, not just his opinions not just his modulation but his dress up and attire as well so uh, that gives a leverage uh, in my opinion already removed his watch because there were no 
watch during those times there were only pocket watches so he has removed the watch also <laughs> just to be the perfect <laughs> so definitely i tried my best to you know give a medieval touch to my character absolutely i mean as you can see the amount of preparation that goes into his attire itself is so well thought out of i mean as ma'am said and i will paraphrase he made sure that he remembers the times he was in the character was in and he speaks like him and he removed his watch and let's say went back in time with that to portray his performance now for your last question how was your journey like with the indian debating league it was quite wonderful because i haven't had the experience you know like this before uh speaking of the dramatic adaptation itself it's a very new concept because we have had declamations in the past but uh, this particular format is slightly different from the others because because here you're given a topic and you're given a character from which po- from whose point of view you need to you know pen down all the thoughts and then formulate it into something really really wonderful so it was a unique um, format for me i must say and the journey so far has definitely been very interesting uh, right from the qualifiers till the semi finals itself uh, it has been a great journey i must say that i was a bit unprepared today because um, yesterday only we we reached mumbai and i was crowned the head boy of my school so i just you know attended my investiture in uh, in a hurry and then uh, we came to mumbai by car so yeah it's, it was a journey that i will remember for the rest of my life absolutely and i mean of course you know the leadership skills are being portrayed right now through his oration as well and through his clarity and the fact that he scheduled his time so well with that i thank you so much for being a part of this interview it was an absolute pleasure thank you so much ma'am as well welcome back to the pranay bhalla show and again in dramatic adaptation in the senior category we have a very young talent over here in the name of ahana zakaria and i must ask her who are you <laughs> where have you come from and what are your talents like what's your experience with public speaking acting and debating hi prane and i have been admiring dramatic adaptations since i was in 5th grade for that matter i've been performing so much that i've been in love with this category itself as far as my well um my journey is concerned i it it go uh, the the honor is completely goes to my school which gave me this platform itself and i wouldn't have imagined performing here on such a big p- platform itself if it hadn't been my school for me you know selecting me into it otherwise my friends family were a great support as you can look at me i'm completely a total a to- completely a different gender itself i am not someone with a mush at all but yeah that's how it's been as you can see when it comes to the pursuit of acting and the pursuit of excellence in drama this individual has changed her roots completely she recognizes herself to be a girl but she was able to reach within and act in a masculine fashion and make sure she looks like one as well so i have to ask you which character are you playing and like what is it about this character to enjoy the most and how did you relate this character to uh, the topic at hand I am playing the philosopher the French philosopher Michael Eken de Montaigne. He was famous for the essays he wrote. It is a compilation of 3 books. He believed that students should be able to question teachers and not just blindly take information as it is. He inspired students to actually learn things around them from experience things. and that truly moved me to to really understand how the education education system works how how complex it is right something which i derive from this character is his philosophies which is written in his book i went through a lot of them and i realized he really digs deep into everything that he reads and compares those philosoph- philosophies with the other philosophers right so that is really inspiring and i felt that i should take this ahead and introduce the world the michael 
acclaimed Montaigne with his philosophies. Lovely. Now she started off by saying that this philosopher is French, you know, in terms of origin. But when she was explaining who this philosopher is, it didn't seem like she was talking in French. She was that clear with her vocabulary, that clear with who this individual is, and it shows the research has gone into it. Now, for your last question, I have to ask you: How has IDL helped you with your journey? You know, what was your journey like with IDL, Indian Debating League? I started off with a very mere expectation of actually progressing as it is but when i realized that i have the ability to compete in such a bi- on such a big platform i realized why should i not it is such a big platform itself to actually understand how the education system works and how the theme is connected to the education system itself you know and that really inspires me as it is lovely again very astute with her answers and i thank this lovely lady for being with me here and of course i do get confused lady or man over here because she's just has done such a wonderful job you know preparing herself for this role thank you so much thank you so much for having me here thank you Welcome back to the Pranav Bhalla show and again we have someone over here who's dressed up and is ready to answer a few questions about their character about themselves so Bhavani Khandelwal tell me a bit about yourself what is your journey with public speaking debating and acting like Okay so first of all I've not always been a public speaker I suffer from stammering since a very young age so it took a long time to you know to be who I am right now it took a lot of counseling as well and a lot of speech therapy but i am happy to be here at the moment and i would say that yeah for the past 3 years i've worked a lot on public speaking it was my english teacher who enrolled me i said she pushed me that no you have to try something and i did try it and i fell in love with public speaking and acting so yeah now i do it for fun for competitions that's lovely firstly she said competitions are fun and that's what we want right the competitive spirit and when i heard that you actually have a issue with stammering as well it's it's actually a shock to me because she has such a free flowing way of talking and connecting with individuals so uh, i really applaud you on that you know applaud you on your journey with that i come to the second question who is your character and how have you connected this character uh, to the topic and how have you embodied the spirit of this character exactly okay so my character is percy b shelley he is an england poet and when i was reading about him i think there are a lot of similar characteristics which we me and him resemble specifically he was a radical he was also known for his controversial statements and was expelled from oxford as well so i think when i was reading about him his life's journey and then going through the topic which was giving I kind of realized that maybe he longed for a guidance and that's why I went for the motion of this particular topic. Lovely. This is what it's all about, you know, about understanding your character so deeply that you perhaps know things they didn't know about themselves sometimes, you know. You find that inner meaning and she has definitely done that. With that I come to uh, the last question of this interview particularly, but it's like a double tiered one to start off with how have you chosen uh, this outfit for yourself you know how did you put it all together and because you look wonderful obviously with uh, in the character and then uh, comes the second question which is how has ideal helped you in your journey and how has ideal been throughout this journey so far the ideal saying my profile uh, in the end debate Okay ideal I'm so sorry I'm so sorry okay so talking about this outfit the moment the profiles were released me my teachers and especially my parents were on it we were searching stores renting stores for the wigs if I if I can you know find a trench coat I was looking for a trench coat I didn't find one but yeah this is similar to that we were finding how my face can be resemblance so there's a bit of makeup on here so yeah I think it was all because of my teachers and my parents we did a lot of hard work on it and second question idl in this journey so when i got to know about this particular competition it was two of the people who were offered to go from our school and i took up this opportunity although i'm in 10th standard i had a bit of my studies as well but when i joined it and i attended the 
you know, all of this counseling sessions from the teachers itself, they were wonderful. I got to know how, you know, I got to know about a lot of profiles, first of all, a lot of great philosophers, a, gro a lot of great personalities, and specifically the topic which we have today, humanizing education. I think it's a beautiful topic and learning about it from different aspects, from turncoat, from my, like, from dramatic adaptation itself, it was beautiful. This journey was amazing. Even if I don't win today, I think I'm collecting so many great memories with myself, so many great experiences, and I love that. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is what inspires the next generation as well. Right now, she's sitting over here tall and proud about her achievement in itself, and I think she's understood a very important concept of public speaking yes speaking is a part of it but giving it back to the community talking about the public and speaking about who helped her raise her platform and her standards just wonderful as a young age thank you so much for allowing me to interview you it's been a pleasure welcome back to the pranabhala show ladies and gentlemen and again we have a young young 16 year old talent over here in the form of Kaushiki. now Kaushiki, we've already spoken for like two or three minutes before and i can see you're a very confident young woman and uh, for the audience as well i have to let you know she's very profound in the way she talks because she understands and she's very self-aware about let's say her pros and her cons so today we'll just get into side her mind and see what goes on there so tell me a bit about yourself in your journey where public speaking acting and debating is concerned hmm. so well, in third grade, I had a class teacher and she introduced me to comparing and speaking on stage. And I was like, whoa, what is this? I feel something. <laughs> it was great. And then I saw my father. He's a journalist. So I have been well versed with it since childhood. And I've been very interested. Like everything is so intriguing. Like, wow, dream. Yeah, so since childhood, I have been versed with it. Yeah. I mean... The word she's spoken, everything is interesting. I think that's something which is resonating with public speakers because, you know, the chatter boxes of the class, the people who keep talking and they can talk about anything. You give them any topic, they'll... But I think that, if you refine those qualities of yourself, you can become a very captivating individual. And that's what she's done with her skill right here. Uh, then we have the question about uh, the character you're playing. How have you embodied this person, you know? How have you put together this lovely, lovely outfit? All right. So... I am playing Sri Aurobindo. He is an Indian philosopher and also a revolutionary, I would say, freedom fighter. He was awesome. If you read about him, you will read that he connects spirituality with everything. So when I realized that they're talking about humanizing education, I connected self-discovery, self-exploration, his idols with education. And my outfit, well, this is a shawl, mom's kurta, just stealing clothes here and there. <laughs> So still your mother's clothes, ladies and gentlemen, to win a few competitions here and there. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Uh, and with that, we come uh, to the final question, although I didn't want this interview to be short, you know, uh, being, how has IDL helped you in your journey? How has? Indian Debating League helped you with your journey. I'm sorry, I'm going with the acronym over here. It's okay. Uh, well, it's a huge organization. It has introduced me to such a big platform, such a big audience. I don't think I've ever interacted with so many people at once. And I've met so many new people. And they're all so interesting. Like, all of them have a story. And they're like, oh, I'm from Jaipur. Oh, I'm from here. And I'm like, I'm from Bhopal. <laughs> I have to... The interaction, I would say. The exposure. They have provided me that. I mean, again, when we started this interview, we spoke about self-awareness. As the interview continued, we spoke about uh, self-discovery uh, in the part of her character. And now it's all come down to how she still understands the opportunities in front of her. She's meeting people from all around the country. And she, I'm sure she's going to make the most of it. And this is definitely going to be one of her smallest audiences in a matter of a few years. So thank you so much for this interview. It was an absolute pleasure. Welcome back to the Pranay Bhala show, ladies and gentlemen. And again, we have a very young talent in the form of Gargi over here, who will tell me all about her experiences today. And she's played a very interesting character. So let's get right into it. Gargi, tell me a bit about yourself. What was your journey like with public speaking, debating and acting? So basically, uh, the opportunity was given to me by my school as... Uh, you know, every year there was this competition getting held that was great speeches and that you have to 
the profile was given to you and a motion was given to you and you had to speak on that particular topic so from that i gained experiences and it's like i'm totally you know i'm totally not afraid of the stage fears that was my journey i mean you all have just heard the words i am not afraid of stage but let me tell you the entire audience has seen that in person and we definitely second it with that i come to the second question this character of yours who is this individual and how have you entered the skin of this person particularly so talking about my character he is a austrian neurologist and talking about him like it was kind of difficult for me to imbibe his particular character because he has kind of different styles and i have completely different styles but slowly and steadily when i read about him and got to know about him so i tried to connect myself to his character lovely i think it becomes the act of finding out the similarities and uh, the unlikeliness of you becoming that individual and then just making sure it all is congruent with the person that you want to become with that i come to the last question for you and that is how has your journey been with the indian debating league uh, talking about my journey in the indian debating league they have given me the opportunity to so that i can explore myself better i get to know about my potentials better and it also has given the opportunity for me like it is my first time to perform in such a big public so i got to know ki yes i really have that courage thank you absolutely learning so much about herself and in the process educating all of us on this individual and uh, the thought she has on the topic itself it has been an absolute pleasure to interview you thank you so much so much Welcome back to the Pranay Bhalla show and again we have a very astute speaker over here a very sound speaker over here in the form of Pranati and uh, Pranati is playing a female Elon Musk billions in her bank accounts and I have to ask her who are you <laughs> where have you come from and uh, you know what is your background with public speaking debating and acting right um so firstly uh, this is my first time like trying out dramatic adaptation i'm usually a singer so i love singing that's my passion and musicals through musicals i got for you know got to go for acting and stuff like that and when i got the chance to like be here in the indian debate league i was thrilled and excited but also scared because it was my first time and the audience was incredible I've never had such a big audience to say so it was pretty nice and I'm from Hyderabad and I'm 15 <laughs> so yeah at just 15 we see that she started her journey as a singer but as she became a public speaker she forgot to leave one element of singing behind and that is the fact that everybody likes listening to her voice when she says something into the microphone and with that we come to the second question which is this character of yours such a peculiar personality Elon Musk how have you embodied this individual and become this person and portrayed his thoughts on such a topic so firstly elon musk has unique views <laughs> to <laughs> say the least yeah his unique views towards over like the way he like revolutionized electric motors and now is planning on having tunnels underground for the cars so i it felt like like you know i don't know i felt out of my reach but as i like researched on him and like tried to see what he liked what he does i feel like it was okay i could go there like try my impossible like make it possible you know what i mean I <laughs> so yeah it was fun like trying to impersonate him the accent i struggled with it for like solid two days to get it right so yeah it was fun absolutely lovely and i think the word she's used you know she thought it's out of her reach and then she thought you know what i better go grab it the idea around that is quite similar to what elon musk does when it comes to mars you know it might be a planet outside your ecosystem or your universe or your area or per se but she still made that uh, move to go out of her comfort zone and that's what matters ladies and gentlemen and with that i come to the last question which is what is the journey with the indian debating league looking like you know uh, how was it particularly with this uh, debate of yours and with this uh, dramatic adaptation of yours um i really loved it to say the least it was such an enriching experience um this like the qualifiers 
I got to see like incredible dramatic adaptations in the first qualifier itself, and coming here, it's so I don't know amazing. <laughs> Like I have an audience, like I prove to myself, not to others, that okay, I can do something if I keep my mind to it. So I really want to keep doing more of dramatic adaptations, like try on maybe new stuff that comes through uh, the Indian debate league. Absolutely. With that, we've come to an end of this interview. But it's very peculiar how somebody from the high tech city of Hyderabad has spoken about somebody who's good at space tech and has done such a good job with it. So thank you so much. It was a pleasure to interview you. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Pranay Bhalla show. And again, we have a very, very young expert over here in the field of drama, and that is Arnav. And I have to ask you, Arnav. Uh, What is your journey like with public speaking, debating, and acting? Like, what's your background over there? Almost since first grade, I've uh, been doing public speaking. I've gone for elocution. From fourth grade, I started debating. Uh, then I uh, did mono acting. So dramatism has been a it's a very important part of my life. Absolutely lovely with those astute, astute answers, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, he's very presentable as well, wearing a lovely, lovely uh, three-piece suit, which I think he's not worn his blazer right now. But he looks absolutely fantastic with the bow tie as well. So I have to come to the question: Who are you playing? Who is this character? How have you embodied the spirit of this character? And at the same point of time, you know, how did you choose your outfit? So actually, uh, my character is Sigmund Freud, and uh, I saw pictures. And obviously, since he died in 1935, so I didn't have any videos of him. So I had to see uh, videos of of how Aus Austrian people used to speak because he was Austrian. So it wasn't very easy, but I did manage it. Lovely. So perseverance is the name of the game. He saw a hurdle, he acknowledged it. But he made sure he crosses it, and that's what matters, ladies and gentlemen. With that, I think I come to the last question of this interview, and uh, that is, what was your journey like with the Indian Debating League? You know, how did that go? What is your process like? Well, it just started this year, so I wasn't really sure about what to do. And in the elimination round, I got Woody Allen, and I did have videos about him, so I had to say three speeches for four minutes, and I did that. I got selected. And now here I am. I hope I get selected in the final. Absolutely, especially as a national finalist, you've already shown your merit, and you've already shown that you have what it takes to become the best. So I wish you all the best for the finals as well. And uh, I must say, it's been a pleasure to have a conversation with you, Arnav. Thank you so much. If you like that video, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. At the same part of time. Please do check out the Indian Debating League and Burlington English on their respective Instagram handles. Thank you.